Hi everybody and welcome. This video is going to talk about grouped data. Imagine if you are wanting to create a graph or chart which involves people's ages. In order to make the information more manageable, you might decide to group people into age ranges. And that is what we're going to examine and look at the rules for today. So here's the example I'm going to use throughout. Uh, someone is wanting to get an idea of the age of people who are visiting a theme park. Now, if you can imagine, one thing we could do here is actually have a questionnaire which asks everybody their specific age. Now, if you wanted to put this into a chart, that means you would have to have loads and loads of lines on your chart from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years of age and so on, right up to the older people. It would be a very, very long and somewhat cumbersome chart. So instead, what we have decided to do is to group people's ages. So if you look at this chart here on the first line, we are going to look at the people who are from the age of nothing up to nine year olds. The second bar on is going to look at people from the age of 10 to 19. And you've got the 20 to 29 year olds all the way up to 49. And then we're going to group everyone age 50 and over into one group. Now, the rules are that the groups have to be next to each other. And by that, I mean no gaps. So if someone is nine year old, they fall into this group. As soon as they have their 10th birthday, they fall into that group. So there has to be no gap in between. Also, the groups can't overlap. It can't be possible for somebody to fit into two groups. So if this group finishes at 19, that has to start at 20, 29 and 30 all the way down. Once we have our table all set up, it becomes quite straightforward because all we are going to do is record each person's age as they come through and put them in the appropriate age group. So if the first couple of people come through are maybe 12 year olds and they happen to be with a couple of people in their 40s and then we've got a couple of young kids who are with their parents and so on. Then a group of teenagers come in and they're all together. And then we've got some people in their 20s, a couple of people who are over 50 and so on. We are simply building up a picture of the ages of people sorted into the appropriate groups by using a tally chart. Once we have completed our questionnaire, if we want to make the information look a little tidier and easier to read, we can add a third column, which is the frequency column. All we do is add up the tally, put the totals in the last column and we have a frequency table. Now let's have a look at how we would represent this grouped data in a bar chart. And in fact, here it is, the bar chart, which contains the same information as the table on the previous page. It is like any other bar chart. It has a title. It has labels, the number of people going up the side in the scale and the ages. The one thing to notice is that each bar now represents not a specific age, but the groups that we saw earlier. So bar one is not to nine year olds, bar two, 10 to 19, 20 to 29 and so on. Other than that, it is the same as any other bar chart. And there you go. Hopefully that's fairly straightforward. Make sure that the groups don't overlap, that there are no gaps and that your bar chart reflects the groups that you've created. If you have enjoyed that or found it useful, please hit my subscribe button. And if you hit the notifications button as well, you'll hear about any new videos. I have another video on charts and graphs on the link there if you wish to have a look at that. Thank you.